Hi uh, people, this is Mark de Maisel. Happy New Year. 2016 has started. 2015, um, I started the year. I'm very uh, hopeful that um, uh, NXT would finally go up again. I had a major allocation to NXT. It was 48% of my portfolio. Uh, and NXT was valued around 17 million US dollars at the start of 2015. That has been uh, going down tremendously in 2015. Uh, currently the market cap is only 6 million dollars. So that's cut by 3. Um, and so uh, I made a huge loss there. Uh, and of course this is after 2014 was also a, a terrible year where the market cap went down from, from around 50 million to 15 million and now it went from 15 to around 6 eh? so two uh, terrible years for NXT uh, market cap due to that I made a loss this year uh, and I lost about 22% on my total portfolio uh, which is still quite okay considering I had half invested in NXT that dropped so much uh, minus uh, cut in three, that's minus 70, minus 80 percent. Still, my loss was only 22 percent in total. Uh, that's thanks to the moves I made during the year. Um, at the start of the year, I was 50 percent about NXT, about 20, 25 percent um, uh, Bitcoin, and about 25 percent gold and gold mining stocks. Roland van Damme. Uh, Bitcoin was at the start of the year around 310, 320 US dollars. But then one month later uh, it collapsed. Uh, at the start of 2015, Bitcoin dropped to about uh, to, uh, the, the all time high low of $160. Um, and I was already busy, uh, well, I, I was busy converting. Um, well, I, I was already busy converting uh, other investments because I had also some small investment in Cypress stock. Uh, but I had been liquidating a lot of my investment in the previous year, 2014, uh, mainly the permanent portfolio. I had a ma major allocation, I liquidated that. And um, uh, I decided uh, at the start of 2015 when Bitcoin dropped again from 300 to below $200, uh, that uh, I would uh, uh, liquidate further my Roland Van Damme portfolio, my gold and gold mining stocks. And you know, I decided to sell all, all investment except for some physical gold uh, that I kept. Uh, so my allocation was around 25 and then 30, 35% gold, gold mining stocks. And I basically shopped it, uh, cut it by two, sold about 15% of my portfolio that was in gold mining stocks. Uh, liquidated all, also silver, physical silver, uh, and uh, put it into Bitcoin around $200. Um, over the whole course of the year, uh, Bitcoin, it recovered from the low of $160, went to 250, uh, $300, then back to $200, then hovered around $220. But then at the end of this year, 2015, uh, it, uh, it went up from uh, 250 to $500 and now it's around $450. Um, it ended the year around $420 or so, 400 euros, 380 euros. So luckily I made that move because thanks to that I uh, made up some of the losses uh, that I had in NXT. Um, basically, um, that was a, a good thing to do. Uh, another big decision I took was also to... St I have actually invested more in NXT, but that not, not that much more. Uh, NXT started in 2015 at 5,500 Satoshi. Then it went down around 3,000 Satoshi. I bought some more uh, and then it went uh, down and now 2,500 Satoshi. Um, um, but the biggest uh, move I, well, that the Bitcoin, buying more Bitcoin was a profitable move. But I also started to invest in clumps this year. Uh, so currently my portfolio allocation is 10% clumps, um, 30% uh, 30 NXT, 
uh, and uh, so that's 40% uh, altcoins and then another 40% currently in Bitcoin so that's 80% total in cryptocurrency and then around 20% uh, in uh, gold uh, and um, some cash as well. Um, so but if I look uh, over the course of my investment history uh, because I uh, inherited capital um, most of that capital came into my own hands um, about uh, in around around 2007 and then uh, I sold the, re uh, the real estate I inherited uh, successfully in 2011 so since that uh, if I look at the total capital I inherited and the total capital I have today, if I count for an inflation rate of 5%, then I have about the same amount of money today that I inherited originally. Uh, it's up in euros, but only 5% per year. I was successful in being able to live from my investments, but um, I wasn't able to grow my capital up until today. Uh, even though I made a very good investment in Bitcoin, I lost a lot of money in NXT uh, and um, that means that today um, I'm at the same level of amount of capital than I originally started 10 years ago. So that's not good. Uh, but the big, big, big difference is uh, how my portfolio is allocated. When I inherited the capital, it was half was it in real estate, the other half was in um, a portfolio managed by a bank. Uh, a traditional portfolio with stocks and bonds. Um, and um, uh, that has been, uh, today, uh, I have nothing, nothing uh, like that. Uh, I have no real estate in my portfolio. Uh, I have no stocks in my portfolio and I have no bonds in my portfolio. I, from the classical investments, I only have gold, physical gold, uh, for 15%. Um, and all the rest is cryptocurrency. So even though the amount of capital is the same or the value of the capital is the same, the composition of my portfolio is very different. It's also very different since, even since 2012. When I started investing in Bitcoin, my portfolio consisted of 50% permanent portfolio, which, which was stocks, bonds, uh, gold and cash. And the other 50% was 40% gold and gold mining stocks in only 10% Bitcoin. That was the end of 2012 when I decided to invest in Bitcoin. It was only for 10% of my portfolio. Luckily, I did that because in 2013, Bitcoin 100 folded and I finally made uh, I was not in a loss again because before that uh, my capital was shrinking due to living from it and not making enough to uh, keep up with my living expenses. Um, so in 2013, uh, luckily, um, uh, uh, I had success with Bitcoin, uh, a major success. Um, um, and at uh, the end of the year 2013, Instead of having only 10% Bitcoin, I had about 60-70% uh, Bitcoin, even though I had sold considerably um, and I had considerably less amount of Bitcoins uh, than I started with, half or three times less uh, due to selling for, for profits and converting into a permanent portfolio and into more gold and gold mining stocks. I still was at an exposure of about 60% Bitcoin at the end of 2013 when Bitcoin was valued around $1,000 and 800 euro. Um, so, uh, but then my capital had grown a lot. I lost uh, almost all of that then in 2014 and again in 2015, uh, the profits. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, I think my position, my portfolio today is uh, positioned very well. Um, Clumps, I think, is a very interesting uh, investment. So currently I have 10% exposure to that. Um, I made videos, two videos about the weaknesses I see in NXT, the risks I see, I think the risk has gone up. Uh, though I think it's still worthwhile as an investment. I fully support my allocation of 30 30% uh, today in it and 
uh, I'm planning to bump that eh, because currently my altcoins are in total 40%, 30% NXT, 10% clumps, and my Bitcoin exposure is 40%, so uh, sorry, 37. So I have a little bit more altcoins than um, than Bitcoin, but I should have a lot more uh, altcoin exposure than Bitcoin exposure, and. Um, I hope to reach about 75, 25 uh, separation. So I have three times more altcoins than Bitcoin. Uh, but I hope that to only have that major exposure to altcoin when uh, Bitcoin is right at its all time high of around $1,000, $1,200, 1000 euro. Uh, at that point, I think it's the perfect time to uh, continue to shift Bitcoin into altcoins, but then uh, in, such, to, in such a magnitude that you have much more altcoins than Bitcoin. But currently it's still 50-50 for me, um, even though I continue to uh, invest Bitcoin into NXT and uh, clumps, but since Bitcoin goes up and NXT and E also clumps go down in Bitcoin value, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I have to continue to do this uh, uh, to keep my altcoin position bigger as my Bitcoin position. I think that's the beauty of asset allocation that um, it forces you to go against the trend. Uh, because if you only listen to your feelings, um, it's uh, it's hard. Uh, for example, today to invest in NXT, it's at an all-time low in fiat and Bitcoin value. And um, but yeah, at the same time, you also see all the risks and you see the the, the you, you you see all the negative points uh, of the investments in a bear market, in a depressed market. Um, and so um, it's hard to invest, but if you use asset allocation strategy as I do, then um, uh, your worst investments will become your smallest exposures because they shrank so much and your best investments become your biggest exposures because they go up so much and uh, you are forced to uh, balance, uh, rebalance and, um, and it forces you to buy uh, things on the cheap and sell things on uh, a high but for that of course you have to not let yourself be tempted by um, false logic uh, because uh, that's always the risk and I have also suffered from that even in also in Bitcoin when it was at thousand dollars I knew and I warned for a major correction but at the same time I still had 60% in Bitcoin so why? Because I made a, a, a logical error uh, in, uh, in um, thinking that uh, uh, thinking like a gold bug eh? or thinking like a Bitcoin tart um, and um, uh, that's I don't think that's uh, that's wise, but I uh, so thinking that yeah, the future is this, and um, the future is gold. Uh, when gold goes up a lot, the future is gold, and it's 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 okay to have hundred percent of your uh, capital in gold, and and the same with Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes up a lot, you think okay, it's okay to just keep all everything in Bitcoin, and you spend as you go, and uh, this is the best mo form of money anyway. Um, but this is, uh, even though these arguments uh, uh, are true, at the same time you're ignoring major risk for, uh, on the short term, uh, major losses. And uh, you don't care about that when you're sitting on major profits, but once those major losses happen, you start to care. And, uh, and that's what's happening to me today, uh, looking at the mistakes I made. Um, and uh, it has always been... Uh, for me, I have been correct about the major trends, but I have made major mistakes in timing uh, and in asset allocation. Timing to buy more on the highs. Uh, I did that with NXT again uh, the, uh, two years ago, but I did it also with gold in 2011 uh, and silver 
uh, and I did it even uh, in 2000 with dot com stocks. Um, uh, uh, so um, I, I have continued to make this mistake uh, to buy on highs and um, and uh, sell on lows. I have also made those mistakes, though not with crypto yet, and I'm not planning to make them today. So I'm certainly not selling any NXT, but um, uh, and I'm also not doing nothing. No, I continue to buy. Um, because even if NXT is doomed in the long term, um, even if it fails to capture a market or to keep its market position in the asset exchange, then in the short term it's still a major, uh, a really great investment because in the past, in every Bitcoin bubble, altcoins, even the shit coins have gone up even more than Bitcoin. Bitcoin being the best investment among any asset class, then altcoins went even a lot, up a lot more times, five times more, sometimes 10 times more than Bitcoin. So history is the best indicator of future performance. Uh, it is not a guarantee, far from it, but it is the best indicator. And so um, a Bitcoin bubble is extremely likely Timing is very different. I've been wrong now two years in my timing with the new Bitcoin bubble. Um, but it looks like chances are very high that we will have a new one in 2016. Uh, and um, for Bitcoin, I think the major risk is uh, being outlawed. Uh, the, the, the thing I, fi I find the most fearful for Bitcoin is uh, the terrorist attacks in France. Um, uh, where they killed 200 uh, people that went to a concert. Um, my, I think um, uh, if you investigate such uh, major terrorist attacks like 9-11, uh, there are a lot of questions to be asked about who is the real uh, uh, attacker there. Um, uh, buildings collapsing that did not even hit, were hit by a plane. Uh, investigations that uh, are totally... Uh, going against scientific, uh, scientific evidence. Um, I think um, false flag operations uh, uh, sadly are a reality where governments attack their own population uh, to get uh, political support uh, for a uh, war, to uh, wage war in uh, far countries where people, normally populations don't want to have anything uh, send their uh, uh, children to. Uh, but um, yeah, false flag operations uh, enable governments to um, to uh, do major attacks, wars against other populations, but also internally to uh, uh, seize power or to continue to suppress um, uh, new movements. And interesting is to see that uh, the French uh, have uh, pointed uh, towards Bitcoin as um, uh, an instrument of uh, terrorist organizations. And the three French uh, um, uh, congressmen in the Euro Parliament have uh, put down a bill again, uh, for a very... Uh, uh, I don't know the exact bill they proposed, but it's probably... I don't think it's outlawing, but it's a uh, very strong regulation. Um, so this is, I think, the most dangerous thing for Bitcoin that... Um, my opinion is that uh, innovation will happen in the West. America, as always, uh, will be in the forefront uh, uh, in technological innovation, Europe uh, following. And um, uh, up until today, Bitcoin uh, has... Uh, it was to be expected that once Bitcoin would go up from a market cap of 100 million, when I uh, initially invested, once it would go above 1 billion, uh, it would come into the uh, uh, big media and uh, the politicians would start seeing it and would start uh, want to um, get their hands on it. Uh, so that was to be expected. But what was not uh, sure was whether it would be outlawed, uh, eh, forbidden, or it would be just regulated. Um, uh, uh, both of them are bad for Bitcoin, but... I invest in Bitcoin with the knowledge that even if the worst case scenario would happen where it would be outlawed, 
then still it would continue to exist in the black market because it is uh, very strong. Uh, it cannot be uh, taken down by uh, governments because you only need to run a computer to uh, have a network. And so the moment two people run a computer, they can exchange bitcoins. And so it will continue to exist. You cannot uh, take it down with violence. But I've learned since then that that's true. And it looks that indeed politicians are going along with it uh, and uh, allow it to happen and are not uh, uh, taking action, um, initiating violence to take it down. But um, some governments are very pro, actually. Uh, the others are very much against it. It has been outlawed in certain countries. Uh, in Russia, you get you get uh, financial uh, tickets uh, if you would be caught. Uh, and there are some few other countries where it is illegal to use. Um, but that's the exception to the rule. In, in almost all countries, it is allowed uh, to be used. And um, uh, that's a very, very good. Uh, but indeed, terrorist attacks can really uh, destroy uh, this situation. Uh, America suffered a lot, lost a lot of its freedom since the 9-11 attack. Uh, it truly has, uh, well, it depends where you look, but uh, it's, it has been very, very bad uh, for uh, the freedoms in America. And the same could happen here in Europe with the French terrorist attacks that are uh, could be used to uh, take away a lot of freedoms of the Europeans, uh, such as uh, using Bitcoin. So it's very important to keep an eye on this. I think the risk here is that Bitcoin's market cap, even though it's still very, very low, it's only uh, now $400 total market cap, about five, six, seven billion. Um, it, the market cap, I do think, is already supported by mainstream investors. And the moment it becomes illegal, you can uh, or outload in important countries such as France uh, or Germany or uh, America um, then, um, uh, or China, uh, uh, then um, uh, I think uh, Bitcoin could uh, go uh, in the short term uh, down a lot from its current valuations. Uh, in, uh, so that's a risk there, a risk that you don't have in altcoins such as NXT and Clum where the market the value is uh, not really supported by mainstream investors, but only by crypto fanatics. Huh? And crypto fanatics will not easily dump their coins uh, if uh, it is being outlawed. Not as easy as mainstream investors. Um, um, because people say uh, if Bitcoin doesn't... Uh, uh, doesn't uh, survive, then all altcoins will die as well. But I don't think that's true. Um, the problem uh, with Bitcoin is that the original premise of it to be a decentralized cryptocurrency has proven to be false over time due to its design of proof of work. The validation of the transactions has come into fewer and fewer hands. Um, and... Um, and uh, I think this is the big opportunity for people that are uh, interested in, to invest in cryptocurrency uh, is to, um, to, 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 to uh, a lot of people are only focused on Bitcoin. Many people that uh, 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 talk about or are famous in the, in, in the cryptocurrency world are only talking about investing in Bitcoin or only invest in Bitcoin. I'm talking about Roger Ver. Uh, Eric Voorhees, Tuur de Meester, uh, Trace Meyer, uh, the Overstock CEO, um, all the names that you can think of that have great things to say uh, or really have really put done a lot for Bitcoin and the success of Bitcoin at the same time are really talking down uh, on, uh, on the altcoins and are ignoring uh, the weaknesses of Bitcoin, the scalability, some of them are addressing that, but none of them are addressing, except for uh, the, the, I forgot his name, uh, he has a YouTube channel, uh, World Crypto Network, 
Um, he is the only one who is addressing the, the, the weaknesses of Bitcoin uh, for, uh, against a 51% attack. Uh, but um, none of them are uh, addressing this. And I think this is very important. I still think that is very important because, um, yeah, it is um, to be expected that Bitcoin will have major enemies uh, and uh, that will want to harm it uh, because it is uh, really attacking the establishment. Uh, uh, most of them are being paid by the fiat uh, system. Uh, the whole government system is getting half of their income and all their dependents uh, are getting uh, half of their income from printing fiat uh, currency, more of that currency, and uh, that will end uh, in a world of Bitcoin. Uh, and so you can expect major attacks uh, as is starting to happen uh, on the political front, but I think also on the technical front, uh, people will try to take down the Bitcoin network and it is really way too easy. Uh, uh, you, you only need um, of the market cap of Bitcoin uh, a few percent. Uh, so that's uh, currently about somewhere around 100 million, 200 million uh, to, to have 51% of the mining power, of the validation power. And then suddenly you can, um, as long as you have that 51% of the mining power, uh, you can just... Uh, stall transactions uh, that no transactions can be performed or put in a fall well that at least and that's that's bad enough and um so i think we can be pretty sure that at one point in time maybe tomorrow maybe only in a couple of years suddenly you can't do any bitcoin transactions and this may take uh days weeks even months and maybe not months but certainly weeks i think and at that point, uh, it will be all over the news and you can expect a, 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 a flash crash at least. And, uh, but possibly even a, like long term real uh, loss of trust in Bitcoin. Um, and so uh, that's because it's very, uh, be because it's a bad design. Uh, it's not uh, decentralized anymore. Uh, it is, becomes more and more centralized and it becomes over time easier and easier compared to its market cap to have 51% of the mining power with money or with guns, eh? with guns because you only need to put a gun to one or two, two or three people to have 51% of the, the mining power. You don't even have to build the miners, you can just uh, threaten a few people and, uh, and then you have also 51% of the mining power. Uh, so that's not acceptable. Um, and so uh, proof of stake, I think, is the biggest innovation in cryptocurrency uh, since the invention of Bitcoin in 2008 uh, at, the, at the financial crisis when, the, uh, when it came out. Um, the proof of stake, Peercoin was the first, 100% uh, proof of stake NXT was the first uh, a year after that. That was at the end of 2013. So uh, five years after the invention of Bitcoin, I think we had the first major innovation, which is to build a build cryptocurrency on proof of stake instead of proof of work. And, um, and it offers a lot of advantages. Watch my previous videos why uh, that is far superior. Uh, basically, it's much faster transactions, much cheaper transactions, a much more secure network. Um, and, uh, and it allows for many other applications to be built de in a decentralized way, which NXT has done. Uh, the asset exchange being the, uh, the, 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 most, the best example that they built. Mm. But there are problems with NXT. It's hard to get a market. And uh, I do think that, um, uh, that you will get several ones. And um, uh, I think that's why I'm really invest in starting to invest in clumps. I see a lot of disadvantages in clumps compared to NXT, but a lot of advantages as well. Um, the weak points of clumps is that, well, um, it's proof of stake, so that's very good. But today it is much more centralized than uh, even Bitcoin uh, and certainly NXT. Um, because um, almost all clams are deposited on the uh, gambling website, just dice, and so only one person need to um, uh, get a gun to his head 
to, uh, to, for Clam coins to be uh, finished. Um, and so that's extreme high risk. But I do think, well, what you see is that other gambling websites also start to accept clumps. And, um, and um, I do think that uh, there is a good chance that over time and uh, uh, clumps will become more decentralized um, as more uh, services start to uh, accept it. And also, like, you can't, like, investing on such a gambling website, it has uh, legal risks that I uh, do not recommend to anyone. Uh, like, a gambling operation always needs to be licensed. I don't think invest investors are still free to invest in anything they want. Uh, but um, I think you have to be careful. Uh, I don't know uh, all the laws around this, but... I think it has too high of a legal risks uh, to do that. But you can invest in cryptocurrencies such as, such as Clum coins. But if you do that, you with Clums, the, the problem is that uh, uh, you have a high inflation rate. I don't like that. I like NXT a lot more for that. It, uh, it has no inflation, uh, NXT. Um, and so when you validate in transactions in NXT, um, you get just the transaction fees as a reward. In Clums, that's not the case. When you validate transactions, you get uh, um, new coins uh, as well as the transaction fees. And um, but it does mean it just means that if you invest in Clum coins, you really have to validate transactions because otherwise your um, your percentage of the supply goes down. Huh? Uh, let's say you start at 1% and just hold the coins over time it will become less half a percent and it goes down because more coins are coming on the market but they are only given to those that are validating transactions so you do have to validate transactions um, with the uh, clumps so I think that's that's not such an interesting currency because um, with NXT you can say look you can just hold the coin you don't have to work to keep your uh, percentage of the supply but with clumps, you do have to work to keep your percentage of the supply. Uh, but what I see with myself is that, well, clumps finally motivated to do validate transactions. With NXT, I never uh, bothered with it because it's not that important. I, just, I, I will keep my percentage of the supply even if I don't validate transactions. So I'll, I'll let it do by other people. I don't have to do it myself. I can focus on other stuff. But with Clums, that's not the case. I have to do it. So I started doing it, and at the same time, excuse me, the, the video cut out. Uh, so um, since it is proof of stake, you can just um, validate uh, transactions for different um, different uh, cryptocurrencies on the same computer. Uh, it doesn't pro require much processing power, nor does it require much bandwidth. Um, so you can just let it run in the background. Um, so you can validate transactions for Clum, you can trans validate transactions for NXT and many more uh, with a simple uh, laptop, for example. So that also consumes little energy. With Clums, the nice thing is that you actually do make uh, quite some money because you mine a lot of coins. Um, for example, you in, would if you would invest thousand or let's say ten thousand uh, euro, then you will get uh, per day uh, I don't know about uh, ten euro or so in uh, new coins. Huh? Uh, so 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 that's good. Uh, with NXT that's not the case, but it's interesting because with clumps you get new coins, so it's, it's inflation. Uh, with NXT, even though the value of the coins you mine is much lower. You do get more coins. Your the amount, your percentage of the supply goes up. Whereas with uh, clumps, you just keep your percentage of the supply. In effect, over time, it will still go down because from the total amount of coins that has been distributed on inception, which was 14 million, only 1.5 million has been claimed, and so still 12.5 million will or can be claimed in the future and will come onto the market. So. So it's all uh, um, relative. There are different designs there, and um, uh, but I think the biggest thing that why I really start investing in clumps, even though I love NXT, 
Uh, I think uh, the most uh, important thing for a coin is utility. Huh? It's like a business. You need to have uh, something that sells uh, and uh, that makes a profit as well. Uh, and that's a solid business. And um, if you sell, um, sell, uh, but you don't make profits, that's not a solid business. Even if you found, found a market, you do make, have to make profits. Um, NXT has found a market with the Ethics Exchange, but it has a lot of competition. Uh, and um, uh, there is not much money being made uh, by NXT on this. A few uh, very low transaction fees and that's, that's about it. Um, so uh, with uh, Clumps, uh, there is a very uh, profitable business uh, using this coin, uh, which is a, a gambling site, and uh, yeah, that's a, that's a great business. Um, uh, gambling dice sites in, in the cryptocurrency world offer a major uh, innovation in the gambling world. You have much lower edge, only one percent edge. So if you bet a hundred dollars, you will only lose one dollar on average, and you still get ninety-nine dollars back for the uh, for uh, in exchange for the fun that you had. Uh, it's a bad investment, but it's a great gambling experience. Um, uh, the gambling they're much better than the real world, where you're you would lose on average, I don't know, 10, 20 dollars per hundred dollar uh, gambled in every uh, uh, dice throw. Um, it's 10 times less or more in the, in the online crypto world. Uh, so it attracts a, a lot of new uh, gamblers from the old world that get a lot more uh, bang for their buck. And uh, it's a, it's, it's, it, as a business, you have, you're sitting on sh certain profits. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's um, uh, it's a it's a great business uh, and uh, uh, it has uh, profits um, a lot of profits and that gives value to that coin that's being used because people they buy the coin they invest the coin and the uh, the amount of coins that they have goes up so they love it and uh, they want some more uh, and so instead of selling for a profit they buy some more coins and push up the price and um, and that's what you see in clumps. The value of the coin was extremely low before Just Dice adopted the coin in exchange for Bitcoin. Uh, it dropped Bitcoin uh, uh, and uh, it uh, it adopted clumps. Uh, but um, clumps was actually inve uh, invented by someone else who is still the main de uh, developer, a uh, uh, proof of stake coin. But it uh, wanted. They never mention NXT, but clearly I think it is. Um, it is, um, as are many, many other coins, there are many other proof of stake coins, but they try to differentiate them by uh, doing things differently than NXT. And for Clumps, they really uh, uh, did a very different distribution of the coin. NXT sold uh, the coins to investors, um, and 72 investors bought the coin. That's how it got started. Uh, Clumps, they uh, distributed the coin to all Bitcoin, Litecoin and Dogecoin uh, addresses that were in existence. Um, and, um, but uh, yeah, uh, Clumps, the price, uh, uh, so the price was very low, but then uh, just dice adopted uh, the coin and um, then the price quickly went up in a couple of weeks. And uh, since then it has been around, um, yeah, uh, around one dollar per coin and then uh, it went but it gradually went up to then three dollars per coin and then um, it collapsed because some big uh, stay uh, somebody digged a lot of coins twice it has collapsed um, strongly uh, when f at the first time I think there were about, about maybe three hundred thousand coins only in circulation when I started investing um, and then uh, suddenly someone digged 200 uh, coins in a month and dumped it on the market. So it dropped a lot. And uh, uh, I know that was before I invested. Uh, and then, um, but yeah, um, I invested around $1. It went up to $3 and then it collapsed to $0.30. Cents, so it could buy 10 uh, in fiat in just a mo one month time because then the total amount of coins in circulation was about 600 
or maybe 700 or 800,000 coins and then suddenly someone uh, uh, claimed 400,000 coins and dumped it on the market. So now there's about 1.5 million coins in circulation and, um, and uh, the price, uh, uh, when I initially invested for the first time in Satoshis, it was about uh, uh, 600,000 Satoshis per coin and um, it dropped to from 600,000 to a low of 70,000 Satoshis in one month time and then it recovered uh, in a couple of weeks to 300,000 Satoshis again and now it's about 250,000 Satoshis. So um, it went eh, from in fiat from three dollars, uh, it was actually a high of 1,400,000 Satoshis and now it's at 250,000 Satoshis. So in, 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 um, in uh, Bitcoin value it has gone down the past year. It started around, uh, I think, around uh, 500,000 Satoshis or so, or 400,000, and now it's 250,000 Satoshis. So, um, compared to Bitcoin, it was a bad investment. But if you started at the year, what, and, and, and you did, uh, you, 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 you were validating transactions, which you should do with clumps, actually, you doubled the amount of coins that you have today in one year. Huh? So let's say you start with 10,000 clam or 1,000 clam, then today you have 2,000 clam just by validating transactions. Eh? So actually, if you look in, in Bitcoin value, the coin went down, but if you look as an investment also expressed in Bitcoin, you actually made more than just being in Bitcoin. And in fiat, uh, uh, you also made money in contrast to NXT uh, that uh, went down in Bitcoin, but a lot more than clams. Clams is well, you could say maybe cut in two right now uh, in one year time, but the amount of coins is double as much, so you can't really say it went down, uh, the, the kinds of coins you have, but NXT, you still have the same amount of coins because you don't earn much with validating transactions, and uh, but the Bitcoin value is cut by three. Uh, so you lost 70%, 80% versus Bitcoin in one year. That's, that's really has been a major loss for me. Um, but I like to start investing. I continue to invest in NXT. It's really an all-time low. I think it's a very good time to invest more in NXT. But I really like clams too because um, uh, I think in the long term, after the next bull market, I think both of them will go up a lot. Uh, but um, then you will have a new bear market. And uh, I think chances are very good that clams uh, will actually uh, be very successful. Um, and then for NXT, yeah, both of them can work out, both of them can fail, they have different risks, but um, yeah, uh, uh, Clums has something going for it, a very profitable business that is always a very good investment. Current valuations of the, all the Clums in circulation is around uh, 2 million US dollars, that's nothing. This business just dies at the time when it was accepting Bitcoin. The, now the total amount of clams invested, almost, almost all clams are invested there at that website, but if you look at the total market cap, it's only one million less or so that's invested there, US dollars. When, when it was accepting Bitcoin, uh, it had uh, f uh, at its peak uh, around 50 million US dollars worth of Bitcoin invested on the website. Eh? So that's the history, that's the past. Eh? If the past repeats, uh, and just die succeeds in growing to the same amount of market cap in the future, clam coins will go up a lot. And uh, I think chances are very good for that, unless some violent uh, organization interferes with that business, which is certainly a risk. Um, but, uh, yeah, so um, there are risks, but um, uh, if you just uh, are aware of the risks and you stay out of the legal risks, then I think uh, it's certainly worth a shot. Um, uh, it fits in my broader vision uh, that I still fully support that uh, Bitcoin definitely is the leader, but um, I think that uh, over the, 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 the dominance of Bitcoin in the crypto world is phenomenal today. Its uh, market cap is about, I think around 95% of the total market is Bitcoin. So, um, I do think that uh, this will go down over time. It's still to be seen which coins will uh, take up, uh, uh, take a piece of that pie uh, of Bitcoin, but um, uh, all altcoins will go up versus Bitcoin and next bubble. So currently they have all uh, gone down 
strongly uh, versus Bitcoin. But NXT definitely stands out here in the past year, 2015. Uh, almost, I, almost all coins that I checked eh, were, were pretty stable versus Bitcoin. They, they had their major, lo major losses versus Bitcoin in 2014. But in 2015, they, 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 they bottomed out. Uh, in contrast to NXT, NXT is, uh, has really found uh, new lows much lower eh, from 5,000 to currently 1,500 Satoshi. So the price has been extremely weak. It's 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 position in 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 the leader position is it's like tenth or eleventh position. It's now battling with things like Namecoin, for oh God's sake, eh? the value of NXT is about the same as Namecoin, uh, which is six million dollars. It's lower than uh, than Peercoin or or uh, it's been really really bad. And I don't think it's. Uh, uh, if there are a lot of problems with NXT, but if you this study the competition, it's not like they did it better. No. Um, if you look at the 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 the, 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 the something like Peercoin or Namecoin or or, or 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 Monero, I mean, or um, Litecoin, or you download those clients, check it out, or BitShares or Counterparty. Uh, download the clients and try to use it. It's a disaster. With the sole exception of Counterparty, the mobile wallet that I saw that was really nice. Uh, but uh, other than that, um, uh, all these softwares have not evolved anything the past year. And then you look at NXT client and I have to give it to the developers. You can, like, there are a lot of mistakes that they make also, but they are all doing a lot of good things as well. And the client, uh, yeah, it looks still extremely nice and the amount of features goes up. I made a video about my vision about NXT eh, that I think it should not try to position itself anymore as the alternative to Bitcoin, but instead focus on a niche market, the yes, asset exchange. I'm not certain about that. It's just an idea that I have, um, but um, I think, uh, I'm, I don't know. Uh, I think for both you can make a strong case. Um, uh, yeah, so, so, Voila, but uh, something like Clams, what I like very much about that is that uh, you don't need uh, marketing there. Eh? The value comes from actual true utility. And uh, nobody is talking about Clams coins, very few people, I think. And, um, and uh, I like that. Uh, it's like a business that makes good profits, that doesn't have to make much advertising because they offer a valuable product and people just come. Uh, I like that very much about Clams. Mm. And I miss that with NXT currently, uh, although the asset exchange is rolling and uh, you have uh, activity there, but the amount of transactions continues to drop in NXT. It is today at 1,000 transactions per day the past week on average. So it has dropped from 2,000 to 1,000. So it is really not only in market cap, but also in the amount of transactions, finding new lows. So, um, um, yeah, uh, I think 2015 was uh, bad uh, for cryptocurrency, for my investments, uh, for especially NXT. Uh, but uh, as good as it gets, as bad as it, as it goes, and uh, vice versa. So uh, all these e extreme profits that we have seen in the crypto world, in Bitcoin going up in one year from $10 to $1,000, uh, NXT going up from a zero value, a value of only 21 bitcoins going up in not uh, uh, like uh, five years, but in like not in three years, like Bitcoin, but in three months to a, a market cap of, of 100 million was uh, amazing profits and uh, was way too, was too good to be true. Um, so, um, but now we see the other side of the coin, uh, which is, uh, extreme losses <clears throat> and um, but you know uh, I, I do think that um, it is not a sign of a failed project I think it is just the volatility that comes with uh, this uh, crypto world and um, I'm very happy uh, that the developers continue to uh, not give a fuck about the price and, uh, and, and develop strongly in NXT and uh, 
I, I really like to see the positivism of certain people and uh, to try to make it happen. I love to see that and I will also uh, do my best uh, for this. Um, yeah, um, I, I, for Bitcoin, I really think that uh, chances are very high we get into a new bubble. Uh, even the French uh, uh, with their terrorist attacks, um, I don't think they're gonna get, realize a lot in the European Parliament. Uh, at best, they get uh, regulation uh, applied to Bitcoin, and I think eh, even severe regulation making it as regulated as banking will not stop it um, because it's great money. Uh, even when it's uh, being strongly regulated, it's much better than fiat. Uh, so I do think uh, in that case it will continue to strong, uh, grow strongly. Uh, only when it would be illegalized, uh, uh, I think that uh, you can get a, a flash crash much lower than the current price. But uh, that's I don't uh, I don't see that happen ri happening right now. Um, so um, yeah, happy New Year all, and uh, good luck for 2016. Bye.